Welcome, friends. Today, we are doing the fourth installment of our Zoologist Discovery series. Happy days. <clears throat> this is the last four from the middle pack. I don't know if these fragrances are packaged together in a way that is like like there's like different lines in the in the house or whether I don't know I might just be reading too much into it but um this is from the second packet I opened the last ones I tried had bat beaver bee and camel and I was a fan of camel and I was a fan of bee um People have also told me to go and visit Olympic Orchids so that I can see the original, or I can smell the original bat. So I think I'm going to do that. Um, but not today. Today. We are smelling these zoologists. Which one shall I start with? We'll start with Dodo. We'll go backwards this time. So... The perfume for Dodo is Eve Kassar. I've never heard of Eve. Um, we'll spray this on and then I will read the notes and then we'll see what's what. I have added camel and bee to my list of fragrances to try on skin. I was impressed with those last time. So let's see what this has. This has bergamot, petit grain, petit grain, pink pepper, and rosemary. The heart notes are cardamom, pineapple, clary sage, black currant absolute. The base notes are basil, basil, lavender, geranium, cumin, patchouli, oak moss, oak wood, sorry, oak moss as well, lavender, tonka, and musk. Oh, straight away, right? Straight away from that. I get a dry greenness. I also get the black currant. Um, I'll tell you what it tastes, what it smells like. Do you know um, the purple sweets when you get like fruit pastels or like uh, Starburst or gummy bears, anything. The purple, that's what it smells like. It smells like the purple one. That is exactly what that smells like. I wonder if you could call this a gourmand. But anyhow, give us a second. I will read the blurb. The sun sparkled across rippling waves, its morning dance upon the Indian Ocean rousing the dodos from their carefree slumber. Stumbling drunkenly across the forest floor, they fested, feasted on overripe fruit where it lay, dropped for them by the lush island paradise that nurtured them. For generations, the predator-free and bountiful shores lulled them into such a state of complacency that their wings grew idle and flight was lost, even to memory. Ultimately, evolution would betray them, but while it lasted, the dodos enjoyed an existence marked by ease and comfort. Sounds like myself. Zoologist dodo is a paradox. Like those extinct inhabitants of Mauritius, the scent is at once classic but fun. Unknowable but impossibly unforgettable. The ideal perfume for those with an eclectic sensibility who crave a life of leisure and contentment. Sounds like me. So the black currant absolute is massive. Massively dominant in this. Straight away. First thing I smelled. Um, rosemary's quite... Rosemary's quite... Um, quite apparent as well the pineapple too it's got that sweet fruit sort of thing going on like a gelatinous you know like a jelly gelatinous sort of fleshy like fruit flesh sort of thing going on strange to see basil in the air uh, in the base notes isn't it huge black currant It's like a dark, purpley green summer 
like lazy it does smell a bit like it doesn't smell badly made like i don't mean lazily made i just mean like it smells like it's lazing in the sun um very sweet very i've used this um analogy about pineapple fragrances before but you know when you spill some juice on a bench and you just leave it and like it, you don't mop it up straight away um and the sun shines on it or like it just evaporates and leave behind like a sticky residue that's got this going on it might be from the pineapple apparently this is version two bergamot I'm getting that rosemary, clary, sage, basil sort of thing going on too. Very, very interesting. Maybe like the beginnings of some oak moss too. So that's very pleasant. I like that. Very fruity though. Very fruity. Not sure it's the type of fragrance I would wear. Simply because of the sheer, that it's a deep fruit though. It's very deep and thick and rich, you know, um, dark as well. It's not a light fruity fragrance. Anyhow, we move, we move on to Civet. And the perfumer is Shelley Waddington. Shelley Waddington has made an appearance quite a few times for this house. Um, I think Galen's either done or is doing a, an interview with her. And this is Civet. So let's have a smell, shall we? The notes in this are bergamot, black pepper, orange, spices, tarragon. Heart notes are carnation, frangipani, heliotrope, tuberose, and ylang ylang. Base notes are civet, coffee, incense, leather, labdanum, oak moss, vanilla, and vetiver. And I can tell you this reminds me of something. It smell it, it's carnation, frangipani, heliotrope. The, the mid is huge. The mid comes out straight away. I, I almost thought there was like Palmer Violet sort of smell there we'll read the blurb and see what it says and then I'll, I'll get into trying to explain what I smell here as the sun sinks over the dense tropical forest civets emerge warily from the thickets under a carpet of narcotic flower blossoms a smattering of coffee berries peppers the ground the moist air is heavy with mossy aromas that penetrate every crevice but the musky scent of the civets dominates, their marked territory daring one to enter at their own risk. Zoologist Civet pays homage to the age-old ingredient, Civet, as well as sheep or perfumes of bygone days, a bewildering sophisticated scent with the promise of sultry nighttime rendezvous. Ooh. It's definitely got that sheep or sort of vibe, but it's got a it's got a dry, dry, dusty sort of Palmer violet, you know, like you get a couple of palmer violets and rub them together, they'll like it's got that. Very floral. It's very sheep rare. Um in its like in its makeup. It smelled like I said, I'd smelled it before. It's got that classical sort of it's got that classical perfume sort of thing going on. Excuse me whilst I hydrate. It's dried my throat out a bit. I'm not huge on this either, to be honest. Um, very floral in the mid. The orange at the top is probably the biggest. Like the orange at the top is probably the biggest note. Um, and then you've got you've got all the florals. I think they're all florals in the mid. Carnation, frangipani, heliotrope, tuberose, and ylang. Yeah. It's very floral. It's very feminine, I think. Um, I'm not getting any of the civet at all. 
But I've come to sort of expect that from like this brand, with the exception of Hyrax. Get a little bit fruity there as well. This is definitely feminine leaning for me. Fresh, but like also dark and with depth. It's very, it's very nice and it's very well made. It's just not something I could. It's not something I could deal with. It's not something I could smell. Like I couldn't, I couldn't wear this. Um, it is very. It's like, it feels like it's got up my nose, which is a strange thing to say because you know. Smelling that in that way, but uh, anyway, we'll move on. Move on to Chipmunk. He looks an honest cat, an honest sort, like a scout leader. Alvin, Simon, and Theodore. Check them out. So, the perfumer for this is another perfumer I've never heard of called Pia Long. P I A Long. Let's have a smell. I know it. I know which fragrance I'm instantly reminded of. But we'll read the blurb first. The lush green of the treetops fades to a dull gold. What seems a peaceful transition actually raises a blaring alarm to the creatures below. Time is running out, but for generations, mighty oaks have fulfilled a promise to provide, and leaves are not the only bounty tumbling to the forest floor. Chipmunks scurry among the detritus in their quest to collect the plumpest acorns. They eagerly gather what they can, and, cheeks bulging with nuts, scamper home to line their snug burrows before falling leaves give way to biting snow. I think I read that all in one breath there. Dear me. Instantly, this reminds me of Tam Dao, and it's got a big cedar wood sort of note. I'll read the notes. Quince, pink pepper, red mandarin. That does seem like a red fruit kind of thing. Cardamom and nutmeg. Chamomile, hazelnut, fir balsam, oak absolute. Earthy notes. Base notes are cedar wood, amaris, patchouli, vetiver, benzoin, gayak wood, and animal notes. I like this. The note that jumps out instantly, the first thing I could smell was the cedar wood. It's a big cedar fragrance, this big woody fragrance. It also has that like quince red mandarin pink pet like that that color you know in that sort of in that in that bracket of of like that side of the spectrum as like very slightly fruity very slightly it's not a fruity fragrance but it's got a slight fruit at the top um wood like it says oak absolute I'm not entirely sure I've ever smelled oak absolute by itself before. I don't think I have. Excuse me as I hydrate once again. Um, hazelnut. There is a nuttiness to it too. I've just noticed that. Obviously with it being chipmunk, it's got like a nutty woody sort of vibe. quite like this I quite like this it's very woody chamomile sort of gives it that sort of like earth earthen like green like I get that I get the picture they're trying to paint with it you know it's clever it's a clever fragrance it's well made and I do like it actually Woody, nutty. Oh, sorry about that. Woody, nutty. Interesting. I like it. I would say that lent more masculine. 
because of the woodiness and the nuttiness. But if you are a lady and you want to smell like, there is no reason you shouldn't. All right. There, chipmunk. Interesting. It's got that sort of, it's not roasted nut, but it's got like a, a nutty vibe. And lastly, chameleon. I have actually been looking forward to this for a long time because it's got the changing colour chameleon thing there. Can you see? I like that. I'm, e I'm easily pleased. Um, so, we will... Oh, don't do it. I hate these squares. are shocking. Sorry, but they are pants. So, the perfumer is called Daniel Precio. And I cannot get this to work to come out to keep the sample in place. There, that's better. So, the notes, any time. Dear God. So, the notes are bergamot, lemon, ylang, mango, pink pepper and violet leaves, cashmeran in the heart, clove, coconut, frangipani, jasmine, saffron and sea salt. Base notes are amber, musk, apopanax, patchouli, sandalwood, vanilla and vetiver. Okay, so I'll read the blurb. Like the luminescent sky of a reptile, skin of a reptile, like the luminescent skin of a reptile, fiery scales of sunlight ripple across the surface of the Indian Ocean, fading slowly to gold and finally sapphire as the sun sinks and disappears. The sea exhales, its gentle tide caressing the beach of an island paradise. The salty breath combines with the narcotic aromas of the ylang and frangipani trees in an intimate kiss, sending shivers through the branches. Something stirs. An eye pivots. A tail grips a slender bough. Will the creature vanish among the leaves or flirt with a daring display of colour? No one knows. The, secret that li the secrets that lie beneath the skin of the chameleon keep Madagascar guessing. Very fruity at the top. That... Top notes, bergamot, lemon, ylang, mango, pink pepper, violet leaf, totally. All of that, all of it. Uh, the pink pepper, the lemon's quite striking, the bergamot's quite striking. You can, I get the violet leaf sort of thing as well. It's not like a, it's not like Fahrenheit, it's not like a petroly, but it's got that sort of shimmering, watery sort of quality about it. Excuse me. There's a little bit of the jasmine coming through and maybe a bit of the coconut as well. You do definitely get that like island paradise sort of vibe. Fresh, citric, dusky, warm. Again, it's very nice, but it's that top is very citric. That's not something I'm particularly keen on. This would smell nice. Definitely a summer fragrance. Um, if you like lemon, which I don't, as we all know, you would enjoy this very fresh and it's very like it almost feels as though it's like like as if you've got like like as if you've got it in your eyes. You know, you know, you get like, imagine like lemon juice in your eyes a bit and you're like, ah, it's got that. It's not the type of lemon that you smell in like detergent. The, 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 the other, the other notes at the top, like the mango um, and the violet leaf stops it from going in that direction. It's one of the reasons I don't like um, lemon fragrances so much because it smells like what? The American's called Lemon Pledge. Um, I don't know that we have Lemon Pledge over here, but I know. Do you, you know what it is? Without even having smelled it before, I know exactly what it smells like. 
It's that lemon detergent sort of thing. It's like, like just, it's not for me. It always takes me breath away. It always feels like it's drying my throat out. Excuse me. Getting a little bit of saltiness. It's very well blended. It's well made. I think that I think that's been true with all of these fragrances. The quality fragrances, they are all very well made. There's been none of them where I've thought, "Now this is shit." Even though I don't like them. Um, a little bit of the vet, um, the vanilla, bit of the amber, bit of musk. It's very fresh. It's nice, and I appreciate it. I would like to smell it on someone else, but I wouldn't buy it. I love the artwork, honestly. Like, if I ever get to speak to Victor Wong after this, I'm going to tell him he should make posters and sell them. Oh. See, that's nice now. The top's burning off a little bit, and it's become a little bit more centred, a little bit more... I like that more than when I first smelled it. Obviously, lemon always gives that impression that I'm not going to like it, but there we are. Dodo. This is sour and green and purpley, and it's a little bit off-smelling, a little bit animalic. Very green, very green, and also purple. Civet. Hmm, yes, I'm getting much more of the civet now that's dried down a lot more. The top isn't as pronounced. It's not as, like, palmer violet sort of thing that I was getting from it before. The florals have calmed down as well. Getting a lot more of, like, the warmth. Like, a, I don't want to say, like, a pissy warmth, but, you know, like a... It's got that sort of civet, uh, not, yes, civet, shepra warmth that you get in the base from them chipmunk chipmunk is a woody nutty fragrance and i'm going to put this on my list of ones to smell on my skin that's very pleasant there's just a just i mean the smallest smallest hint of sweetness that just stops it from tipping over i don't know the sandalwood in it no, it's the cedar wood. It might be the guy out wood. Or the benzo. Yeah, it's the benzoine. Of course it is. It's the benzoine that's giving it that little bit of sweetness without it being like sugar sweet. And then chameleon. Very fresh. I might try that on someone else. I know someone who might like the smell of that. Anyhow. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Boys and girls. Children of all ages and everyone in between. I hope you have enjoyed my latest zoologist sampling video. I will hope to see you again soon. Goodbye.